Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual advice reading for the day of February 7th of 2023. For this reading I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler's deck by Denise Lynn and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of guidance for February 7th of 2023. All right, so if you've been contemplating an adventure, hoping, wishing, and praying to travel into some form of direction, Spirit saying, absolutely, now's the time to take a risk and venture forward. So we have many who are up in their thoughts now, choosing one path, direction, or the other, recognizing that all kinds of possibilities are opening up for you. So I've been praying for good news. Remember when you pray for good news, especially at this time, good news is going to show up here. Someone's going to eventually, and I'm hearing in February, some have already told me of the paths that have opened up before them or adventures that they are planning to now go on whether that's personal or professional. Now in the relationship sector, we have the grace and gratitude card. This has been a popular card in the relationship sector. So Spirit's saying, you know, joy expands through gratitude, right? So remember not only to give, well, most importantly, to give thanks to Spirit for the beautiful paths that are opening up for you that came via connection to another or others. Uh, it is definitely time to take a risk and go into the direction of this adventure. In some cases, there are thoughts here of a new path in the area of retirement and others journeys. This is a path of uh, travel, planning an adventure to go on a trip. And some others, there is this uh, blessing of and realization that, hey, I'm the leader of my path. I get to choose which direction I want to go because all of these options and wonderful good news is finally showing up. So we have the wise leader energy in the creative aspects position. So spirit saying many will be a beacon for others to follow. Maybe you're even recognizing that you found this path. You're ready for a new adventure. You're giving thanks to spirit. You are a leader of your journey and in some cases can share this journey uh, to, with others. All right, giving grace and gratitude to others. If you've been thinking about caring, giving, providing, supporting, or guiding others, spirit saying, oh my, I didn't even see this in the actions position, you are a healer. Why? Because you have healed. So in some cases, spirit saying in this beautiful number seven day of February, that healing energy is growing within you and is coming through you. And people are seeing that you have healed or you're feeling as though you have healed. And that's where spirit saying, give thanks to spirit. It's time for a new adventure. It's time for a new path. So in the emotional aspects position, yep, things may be feeling a little bit foggy, right? We don't have all the answers we need at this time, but it's all about the journey of who am I right now? Who am I going to now become? What is a better path for me? And, um, you know, when will additional information come or when? Will, what will this experience be like? So in the subconscious position, we have the be, uh, Begin Now card, right? knowing subconsciously that it is time indeed to take your first step into the direction of a great adventure. Even though you're unsure emotionally about where things are headed, uh, you are choosing a path and are being seen as a wonderful, uh, matured leader over your journey. So there's healing going on and there's this realization of giving thanks, right? When the good news comes, celebrate it, tell someone, um, shout from the mountains, and just walk in the beauty of what is unfolding before you. Maybe a greater position of abundance, leadership, pay, or uh, you know, those are the things you are contemplating. And the number seven is all about what you put your effort into right now will indeed guide you into the direction of a triumphant path in this number seven year of 2023 that will unfold for the long term. And so Spirit's saying, absolutely take these first steps for there is this okay the strength in the inner strengths position the desert passage energy um, this is trusting in the guidance 
right? I am feeling healed. I'm feeling like this is right. I'm feeling like I am deciphering and am in control of the next adventure in my life. So I'm surrendering to the journey and I'm expecting if they haven't already transpired for you, wonderful miracles to take place for me because now I am stepping towards this beautiful new path. I am um, beginning a new cycle, maybe of travel day to day in my life. Uh, and again, Spirit saying, now is the time for healing, mending, and releasing. It's time to step into your power, right? And be a beacon in the eyes of others for this will. Uh, uh, it is a time of new connections. So Spirit saying, just find peace, trust that the answers will come from within, and eventually you'll see the big picture. But right now it's time to kind of cleanse the waters, right? Take a sea salt bath, empty your worries, sit back and trust. What did I say? That you are stepping through the gates of triumph here. That success is expanding for those who've been putting the effort in. So there is like this focused energy on, oh my gosh, this miracle, this adventure, this new path is developing for me. And Spirit's saying we're giving you the courage to go into the direction of where abundance uh, can transpire in your life. So everything is going to start to feel like it's flowing smoothly for you over the month of February for many of the collective. Some answered the call. Look at that. <clears throat> the time is now. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and delight. There could be some unexpected offers, opportunities regarding something at a distance. Or maybe just at a distance from where you live. But there's this redirection, redirected energy of healing and this feeling of groundedness. Because it's time to expand your horizons and many are recognizing what that means. So let's confirm and clarify, shall we? To do so, I am going to bring in the Black Tarot deck by Victoria Iva from the Debris Company. Overall message, please, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages that we have previously discussed for the month or for the day of February 7th of 2023 wishes coming true when it comes to a great adventure yes plan this adventure walk in the beauty of planning this adventure trust that eventually the fogginess will fade away and you will be realizing that all is possible there's a divine plan here that will help many to heal so spirits guiding people to take and, and go on a journey travel or just sit back and realize that um now is time for a divine plan for you okay this is something for the long term wishes coming true adventures taking place being freed from worries and fears look at in the thoughts position heartache sadness and so on spirit saying now as you choose a new path recognize that all is possible uh, that's just what you're going to be feeling for some of you today because of maybe information that came yesterday um Yes, so in the relationship sector, we have the major arcana, the fool. The manifestation through connection with someone whereby a new path opened up that is indeed a wish come true. Again, someone may have been choosing between one, two, or three different offers in the area of finance and career. But what's showing back up as a result of you being the leader of your path is this energy of great inner strength. All is possible, and now I can get excited and celebrate this new adventure in my life. So in the actions position, we have the Six of Cups. For many, the past is falling away. That was painful. The Mystic Healer saying we are helping you now to feel more strong in your life because of the wishes that are coming true, uh, to trust that this path or a path is what's meant to be. All right, so we got the two of swords. Again, I'm feeling like swords sometimes represent business organization to me. Emotionally, there have been some which are no longer, or there may still today on the 7th be some who are a bit indecisive 
about one business organization direction or the other. But Spirit is saying trust uh, that you have the strength to choose the best path. And Spirit is guiding you to get excited about the manifestation of a conversation here. So Spirit is saying give thanks to the communication with someone that helped for you to be open to a new venture. Okay, and Spirit saying venture forward, take a risk, do this. Okay, in the subconscious position, we got the King of Spears. So this could be someone who is in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure. Or it is the manifestation of a conversation that's leading you to feel abundant, stable, and secure. And Spirit saying, take your first steps into the direction of a wish and trust that the universe is helping you to manifest this. Now, this has been a very common card as of late. Right now, it's coming in the day-to-day -day aspects position. So there has been or will be on the 7th of February, attention and recognition that's coming in that makes you start to feel strong once again, that brings you out of that foggy energy of sadness, worry and fear, maybe even heartache, and brings you instead into the direction of a new adventure. So in the inner strengths position, we have the beautiful Queen of Pentacles, which has also been a very common card. Now, I cannot ignore, we have the king and queen of spheres or pentacles here. So we have two people who are both earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or they have that strongly in their chart. This could be two people who are financially abundant, stable, and secure. And now you're contemplating uh, this connection because of the attention and the feeling that this could be the one. Okay, so Spirit's saying just trust in the divine plan as you venture forward that even when you are unsure, Spirit's helping you to heal from all that was and feel strong enough now to decipher whether or not you want to take a risk with someone here. Four of Pentacles, look at that. So I'm closed off, I'm unsure with the justice energy because there could be marriage commitment partnership or there's just fear of stepping into one. The Spirit's saying, look at that, if you are to earth signs, yes, there is this coming together energy, feeling supportive, supportive, like you both are working towards the same thing. And the world card is saying, now could be the time to step into the portal of a new beginning. It's up to you. Do you want to give birth to a connection with this person? There's no need to make a decision with the Two of Swords emotionally if you are feeling foggy, right? Spirit is eventually going to bring greater grace from this connection. Yeah, someone's running away. Like, I, I don't know if I want marriage commitment partnership or I am going excitedly into the direction of balance here. I see a little bit of fantasy and illusion. Someone's trying to get to the truth of whether or not someone else has their heart fully open to the connection. But yeah, there's money, money, money and a light at the end of the tunnel, emotional happily ever after coming in quickly and swiftly helping for those who are feeling or thinking of pain and sadness and so on you are being freed from that and then i saw the lover so if you are gemini and that's your concern spirit saying we are freeing you from that because you have researched and we are helping you to continue to research with the eight of pentacles uh something in the area of money two of wands which one am i excited about ace of pentacles and the Knight of Wands, right? So you're the Knight. You get to decide what is it I'm excited about? What is it that I want to do? Because I get to choose my path. I am. Uh, I have the strength to be a wise leader over my own journey. So by the end of the day, we do have the Magician and the Seven of Swords uh, kind of holding a sword behind one's back, unsure of communication here. Uh, unsure maybe even of do I want to manifest what's on offer here? So Spirit's saying, sit and think about it. Get in that Zen energy with the Four of Swords. If you don't know what the truth is or how something's going to transpire, find some time to meditate and free yourself from negative thoughts by replacing those with positive thoughts of victory because they're showing the Ace of Swords here, a path of victory that will grow and prosper for the long term. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So a couple things here, uh, Gemini's. Uh, or air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, there is uh, something beautiful opening up here. Indecision about when to take certain actions, but Spirit saying the time is coming. 
the Wheel of Fortunes turned in your favor. Definitely share some good news with someone here. I am feeling like there are some who, in this new path of financing career, as you choose this path and go on this adventure, if you're single, it's in that direction where you're going to meet someone who's also, you know, financially abundant, stable, and secure. And there's a, a pathway leading to that person that maybe you have not yet met. Okay. So I am going to confirm and close with uh, spiritual messages from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please confirm, clarify, and or provide additional messages regarding the day of February 7th of 2023. Six of Action. Just like we saw, where did we see that we talked about that attention and recognition? A wonderful experience has either transformed for you or is about to. Your project, you will find, is a total success bringing awards and promotions or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If there's someone that can help you or assist you in some way, know that whatever person you're connecting with has indeed been heaven sent and spirit again is saying say yes to this new adventure you're choosing a path you're taking leadership over your path give thanks to the connections that are coming before you and trust uh, that there is healing as you go into this new beginning of great stability and and balance and healing yes slowly but surely the path of the fog is going to dissipate here and you're going to be seen as someone who's taking control of your path and you are beginning an adventure uh, that is going to be successful for the long term. And on that note, <clears throat> pardon my dog buster, should these messages have resonated for you in any way and or you would just like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So that is a month, what, one month reading as well, by the way. Um, so thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes to those of you who come to me for those month to month readings and or to those of you who've been gifting readings to other people. That's been a lot of fun. Thank you for those as well. Thank you for those who attend the live Zoom cast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.